Social plugins are a way to add features from Facebook into your content. Normally, these are features you can add to websites by copying and pasting some code from Facebook. You are probably familiar with things like comments, the send and the like button, etc. So let's take a look at how you can integrate them into an app. So when you first log into the developer site, you see this sort of division between building things for websites and building for mobile and building apps on Facebook. We have been focusing on the building apps on Facebook section. And if we click on build apps on Facebook and we go to the SDK reference, go to the JavaScript SDK, you'll notice that there's no mention of social plugins. That's really because social plugins are part of the building for websites. And we can find them here by going to core concepts and then hitting social plugins. So here's all the plugins that Facebook provides. There's quite a few of them. The like button, the send button, subscribe, comments, activity feed, and other things. If you click on the like button, you'll see that when it talks about adding this to your site, it assumes that you're gonna add it to a website, not an app. So we will have to watch out because the code is a little bit different. So if we scroll down, we'll notice that there is a code generator right here. It's pretty cool. You can put in a URL that you want to like. We can type in, for example, our app URL. And then we can customize the button by clicking on different things, changing the width, showing faces, if there's anybody that's already liking this app, color scheme, et cetera, et cetera. And when you hit get code, it's going to give you three options here to use the code that's HTML5. This is really what we want. XBML is something that you don't want to use or iframes in this particular case. So if you look at the code that it gives you, the first thing is it wants you to use the FB root div and we've already added that to our site. So we definitely don't need to copy that. Next you see a script and that script is essentially the JavaScript SDK being loaded. There's a little bit of a pop up here so it can populate some of these fields for your particular app. If you have more than one app, then you would see more than one right here. And this piece of script right here is obviously loading the JavaScript SDK. We already have that code on our site, so we don't need that. The only thing that we need is this right here. So when you're reading these social plugins, it's kind of important to understand which parts of the code that it's telling you you need and which parts you don't. So I'm going to copy that and click OK. And if you scroll down, you'll see the different attributes that you can add. So you can do these manually because we just copy the code. You can see a section here about getting open graph tags. We don't need to do that. The app is already connected to Facebook and through the JavaScript SDK, the website already has all this information. So on a normal website, you would need to grab all this code in working with apps. You don't need any of that at all. And let's see what else. There's a few other options here, but all we need is to go back into BB edit. And here is my code snippets. I'm going to open up also transmit and I'll need to open up the index file. So I'm going to go to code snippets I already have a version of what we need here. I'll first grab just this headline and div for all our social plugins. So this is just a normal div with a H2 for the label that goes at the top. And it has something that says helpless share you source by liking this app. So I'm going to copy this go back into our index page and I want this on the sidebar on the top of the video group. So I'll put it right there and dent it a little bit. And when we go back to our app, it should just at least have the headline and be ready for the like button. And there it is. So switch back over to BB edit. Next thing is we're going to grab that code that we got from the code generator and just copy that and we'll put it right underneath this right here and really a lot of the social plugins all you do is you grab a piece of code you got to know which part to grab and it will display whatever you want on the site including stuff on this app so you can see there's the like button looks pretty simple now one problem is that it's way too wide so we really want to fix that I'm gonna go back into BB edit and back into my code snippets and grab a much simpler version of this like button so I don't really need the data href. Again, the JavaScript SDK already knows what page we're on, so you don't really need that. Also, we don't really need any of this other stuff, and the data width is too wide, so I'm setting it here to 200. And I don't need to show the faces of the people when they log in, so this is a much simpler version of the code. Back into my index file, paste that piece of code right there, save it, 
and we have just the like button fits a little bit better and we can click on it we can type in a little message this is going to go on our timeline so and I'll post it to Facebook and that's it I'm gonna command click on this Facebook link right here to open up Facebook on a new tab and there it is there's the like that we did and that's pretty cool it's easy to add some of the social plugins to your apps, but one of the things that you really have to watch out for is for making sure you understand which parts of the code on that page because those particular social plugins are designed to normally just be things that you put on websites, not on apps.